the government have uh, started this project in 1980s and 1970s or 1990 but maximum project is failed to manage the flood i think uh, the multi sectoral uh, management policy uh, uh, had to be implemented not only the post flood management or or, or flood rescue manage, uh, 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 strategy a, a single point or a single strategy cannot help to uh, to solve uh, the flood problem in assam <laughs> Nine point four percent of India's total flood-prone areas fall under Assam. Every year, there's devastating floods during the monsoons. The total amount of loss, which was recorded in two thousand four, was almost eight hundred crores. We dive into the situation. So it's clearly a huge loss. So everyone knows this uh, flood is coming. Everyone knows during monsoon, the whole area is going to get affected, and like it's going to take livelihood of people and mostly like the people who are affected are from the uh, lower strata of society. So uh, is N Assam being neglected in that way or does the government doesn't have anything to do because it's a natural phenomena? No, I think um, the government have so many scope to uh, rethink about uh, on Assam flood. So and this approach should be multi directions, not uh, in a single direction or or just on the post flood management so and uh, you know if you if you want to uh, uh, solve the assam flood problem so so we have to the government have to work in different way so first of all uh, uh, pre flood management like the uh, the there are several non implementations of projects so that mean many projects are unfinished projects they the governments have uh, started this project in 1980s and 70s or 1990 but maximum project is failed uh, or unsuccessful so first they have to assess why this project is unsuccessful and then they have to think about the 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 role of dams uh, in uh, behind this uh, uh, flood, how the dam is responsible, or what the water sharing is responsible, and then uh, I I was reading reading that uh, 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 you know the uh, the degradations of wetland and marshland is a huge huge uh, uh, cause of Assam flood. So government had to restore these wetlands. So there are like a, a few uh, wetland like uh, Silsiko, uh, Bursala. Sorusola, Dipurbil, uh, Konajan, Bil. So these are the these are the um, important wetlands area. So government had to rethink that's how the the, the role of this wetland to restore uh, the water capacity or or, or, the, or the to maintain the runoff um, in the Assam area. And, and this is a few example. But I think um, uh, there are lots of studies. They have uh, uh, they have concluded that. Uh, decrease of wetlands and uh, marshland and 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 these are the important uh, elements to rethink about assam flat and now again come to the point of embankment so there are so many corruptions uh, 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 with the uh, uh, embankment so i think uh, government should, should rethink now because uh, uh, now we have entered in a uh, that mean nature based solution so uh, and globally talk, global researchers talk about nature based solution urban embankment cannot be a solution of flood in assam so we have to rethink how nature based solutions can be helpful to reduce the uh, frequency of assam flood so i think the, so there, then if we um, uh, that mean if government have to implement the nature based solution then multi sectoral dialogues is important like Stakeholders uh, like different environmental uh, uh, NGOs, academicians, and those who are living in this uh, flood plan for, for for generation to generations, we have to uh, uh, include their knowledge. So uh, the the indigenous people, those who are, who are living in this area, and also the chart dwellers, how uh, that mean their role to encourage or their role, how they are uh, impacting on uh, on the riverbed. So this is the, the that mean. The, to manage the flood, I think uh, the multi-sectoral uh, management policy uh, uh, had to be implemented, not only 
the post flood management or 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 flood rescue manage uh, 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 strategy so i think uh, before flood or they have to uh, understand uh, the the multi sectoral <clears throat> or multi uh, directional uh, management policy i think this is the important area uh, the government should rethink now i come to the point of uh, the role of central government and the state government yes so there is a very important area uh, the that mean central government and state government should come together to uh, to work uh, uh, um, on assam flood because it's an it's an regular phenomena and also you know uh, i believe that uh, international dialogue is also uh, important like ba- through bangladesh uh, nepal bhutan india and also uh, if possible to include china to rethink about uh, the bombaputra river water sharing and uh, different dams uh, for d- uh, different tributaries in bombaputra so i think so this is a long term uh, uh, work uh, so uh, so a, a single point or a single strategy cannot help to uh, to solve uh, the flood problem in assam so i i i think um, if government uh, uh, did not start working from uh, from today so it will be very late i or, or in in 2030 or maybe in 2040 the frequency of flood will be more more increase in in, in future yeah do consider like share and subscribing if you want more such contents and podcasts don't forget to press the bell icon